Hello guys, how are you? How is the work going? So basically, in, in this tutorial, we are going to do the exercise jam, uh, which I did in last time, but there was a mistake, a uh, blunder uh, done by me. So we are going to redo it. So I am going to not explain the drawing and stuff. So just I will tell you which mistake I make. So make sure the units are in inches. I am going to I am going to open the sketch on the top plane, going to the center rectangle, draw the rectangle, give the dimension, and like that. This is four, and its height we have three. And using the sketch fillet, I am going to fillet these corners. And here we are going to put the parameter for this fillet. So this one is 0.5 good and extrude this one so we are going to use the extrude and under the direction i am going to make it blind and select this depth it's given 0.5 okay next we can uh, draw a line on the front plane and make it normal select the line tool and from this mid midpoint of this edge i'm going to draw a line give the dimension this angular dimension is 45 and this length the line dimension is 2 so this is the sketch for the reference geometry go to the reference and open the plane select this line for the first point and this point on the top for the second point to have a normal plane now we are going to open the sketch on this plane okay and going to the normal view so now we have to draw the polygon so select the polygon here and here for this polygon this was our mistake for the last video we have to select eight sides in the previous video uh, i i selected the default values of this uh, and the sides the number of sides i select i selected six so that was the mistake a blunder for this exercise so make sure you select eight side and circumscribed circle select this one and the corner point the center point will be coincident on this origin on this the end point of this line which we draw for this reference plane so make sure you select that and draw a line like that and now if you go to the normal view you will have something uh, like that so just go to the dimension and select this outer circle circumscribed circle for this polygon with eight sided and here we are going to define it 1.5 heads given in the drawing okay so next thing is that we have to select this side either this side or this side if we select this side you are going to make it horizontal or if you select this side make it vertical so add one relation for these lines and exit the sketch now we have this sketch and just use the extrude extrude tool and select this top surface sorry use the extrude tool and select this sketch and we are going to make it up to the surface till this surface so we will have this extrusion like that okay no check mark okay and here we are going to make another hole select this surface and select the circle tool and this point draw the circle and define the dimension of this circle is point 0.625 and go to feature and cut extrude and select through all so it will make a cut till this surface okay next thing is that we are going to select the front plane and circle tool uh, sorry normal tool and now select the circle tool and draw the this circle on this edge on the top edge this one which is at some angle draw a circle like that and here define the dimension so this dimension according to the drawing it's given 0.188 and it's radial uh, radial dimension so we have to make it to radial uh, diameter so multiply it by two so simple then select this point and this top edge and this dimension is 0.75 okay and here define us center rectangle for the reference to make a extrude cut so from this point on the same line which we created for the plane and exit the sketch so in the previous video in which we make the mistake i 
rim this upper portion of this uh, circle and make this arc so basically i draw a line I draw a line on this edge and trim this portion this portion and this upper portion of the circle but we don't need it to trim it so we can have a whole sketch and then go to the extrude cut and here make sure for the axis of revolution this uh, reference line is selected check mark so it will basically make a through cut uh, and it will remove the complete material like that so you don't need it to trim this circle so because some of the surfaces are they are larger and then this this edge it's it is smaller and then this surface so if you did not make it uh, a complete a circle maybe it will not cut some surfaces some of the student face face this issue they text me that this is not cutting a complete material when we when we use the through ball so for the next option i am going to use the hollow wizard and we are going to make these holes so here we have to define the dimension make sure you selected this first one the counter board and select the nc inches and here we are going to define this dimension which is given in the drawing so for this dimension point two six six for the bigger circle we have to def uh, define 0.438 and for this one we are going to make it 0 0.250 and go to the position and 3d sketch and now select this edge and when it show the center of the edge make like that you can also make it normal to you for the easiness so the plane is right like that so i think this design is complete so just focus on the on the mistake which we did for the previous video so hide these planes and this sketch for the reference and select the material so material is given 2020 solver solver material 202 okay so material is also applied so the design is complete thank you so much for watching this tutorial and if you watch the previous exercise uh, you must uh, remove the mistakes